today's video is finally a long-awaited vlog I got this cute little camera which I always seem to forget the name of for some reason but I'll show you guys up on screen over here I think it's great it's really streamlined my vlogging process but this summer was a big challenge summer for me I knew for a while that I had to make some serious lifestyle changes and I was definitely in denial and I was definitely thinking I was making these changes but nothing was actually really <laughs> changing so I needed not a hard reset, not a hard, I don't know what you want to call it, but I needed to challenge myself to be better and set some actual goals in mind so that I could just like get back to doing what I love. Um, and health is a really big part of everything I do because everything I do is for myself essentially. I'm self-employed, I work for myself, and when your brain is not right, it's kind of chaotic to say the least. You guys are going to see some footage today that's from I think like end of June, July potentially up until like August so we're not quite at present day yet but I wanted to share this stuff with you guys so you could kind of see my progress in terms of like health and wellness and just what I was trying to do over the whole like span of the summer to get myself back to a place where I think I'm finally like getting into into the groove again and feeling more like my normal self. Those goals were number one, if weight is something you don't want to hear about, then just skip over this little talkity talk part. But I want to lose 20 pounds. I gained quite a bit of weight, not even over COVID, but like from when Daniel and I moved and bought this house, our lifestyle just changed so drastically and a couple of the other goals that I'm going to mention in a second really just were like everyday lifestyle things for me that just fell off for some reason. So losing 20 pounds, which I'm almost there. I'm so close, but I'm almost there. That was really a big one for me. Numbers are not like triggering. They're actually motivating. So as long as I'm being healthy all the way around, I'm like good with setting weight loss goals. So make sure that's something you are okay with, obviously, if that's like you're taking anything from this video. I wanted to walk every day. I just realized I was so like sedentary, is that the right word, in my everyday life when I used to like walk to do all my errands and stuff like that. So implementing a daily walk, waking up earlier. I actually find I thrive when I wake up at like 6 a.m. It's so hard for me to wake up at eight or nine. Let me know if that's like you, but waking up at six, even though it's brutal for like the first 10 seconds, you kind of get over it and I am so productive anytime before noon. So waking up early was a big one to get everything done that I want to get done in the day. Cooking 95% of my meals was so important because we just got into this funk of like ordering stuff and ordering things that we thought were healthy, but they were still full of like oils and preservatives and crap and sugars and wasn't doing us any good. So we have a beautiful kitchen. I wanted to utilize it even though it is ancient. We've figured it out. We got a new fridge, which I'm obsessed with and yeah cooking because I love it. It's actually very therapeutic to me. And then overall just to increase happiness and I think all these things kind of lead to that because I'm honestly happiest when I'm like being productive and putting my all into my channels, working for brands I love and just like connecting with you guys which I feel like I haven't successfully done over the last couple of years because they've definitely been weird transitional ones and I'm at an age now where like everything is all over the place and sometimes I find myself not gaslighting myself, but kind of questioning if you guys even want to see certain things anymore from me or just not knowing who my audience is. So I'm kind of over that. I'm just like, I need to put stuff out there and see what you guys are into and what you're not into. If you're not into it, don't worry. But leave me comments because I feel like anything can be used as constructive criticism. I'm also such a fucking mouth breather because my nose gets so stuffy from allergies, from everything, and it's just constant blockage there. Even though I got a camera shoved up my nose, like, years ago and they said I was fine. I'm so not fine. That's why the heavy breathing because I'm doing well otherwise. <laughs> yeah, I just want to share with you guys how I pretty much spent my summer being healthy, resetting, challenging myself. It might seem miserable to some people but honestly I think it was so worth it and now like going into the fall transitional weather I'm so so happy that we did this this summer instead of just like indulging and just kind of going down the dark path before like the fall winter kicks in. But this vlog is just kind of clips that I took from like multiple instances when I was like, oh, I'm gonna flaw, I'm gonna make a full vlog of this, but I actually just didn't feel confident or ready yet. But if I included like the full clips, this would be like five hours long. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I just really enjoy watching vlogs these days where people are actually like doing things, uh, whether that's like they have real careers, they're working, or they're showing like going out and doing stuff. So it's what I tried to do here. 
again, the next vlog will be very different than this one, but I hope this video gives you guys some insight as to where I've been. I also uploaded a thrift talk video where I took you guys to the thrift store and just like kind of left it uncut and answered your questions more like life related that I asked on Instagram. So that is this little thumbnail right over here. If you guys want to watch it, that might give you some more like insight as to what you're just about to see. But I missed you guys and I'm excited to get back on track. So enjoy the vlog. We're really on to something here, you guys. I went to the bathroom because there's no way I'm coming out of these pants. Hopefully not the whole night, but yeah, they're just like big on the waist and they're meant to be low rise, so I don't want them like slipping inside and around. I switched up my ribbon to this darker one because I have more of it and it matches my shoes, which I've never worn, but these are so comfortable. Start long. Like now I'm looking at it and it kind of just looks silly. I think it looks cute on the top-ish, but it kind of looks silly here. We have a new outfit and I'm extremely embarrassed about the background. So if you happen to see it while I'm doing this little thrift haul, just know this is like the daily chaos that I go through when I'm packing and planning for pop-ups and like everything happens at once, aka summer. Cute little schoolgirl mini, so I guess like preemptive for fall. Old faded glory. How sick. Like these are the things that I buy because I think they're so cute, but when I put them on I just feel very childlike. So that will be there. This maybe I should keep. It's a little bit more mature, but in the graphic tee vein. I thrifted my sister for Christmas, like the version of this with pants underneath. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. This is sick. I love the lace up the front top. Look at these shoes. We were praying that these actually stick it together. They don't look like they're separating and they're wood. So my new roll with shoes is that they have to be like in perfect, perfect condition. like something so important but such a rookie mistake the holes of the tags are like definitely meant for string and my little tagging gun is gonna go right through them so I'm gonna have to re-punch all of these which is was not in the game plan because having them pre-punched is so ideal the shit. Oh wait, this is some ketchup. Oh, thank God. Thank goodness. This These is the shit. These are also like a classic movie theater. Classic, classic. These are good. I would only ever eat part of movies. This is me before my workout. This is after. I've already like cooled off in the grocery store. Does my hair have a nice weight? I kind of like bunned my hair so that I wouldn't have to wash it today. Kind of gross, but I also put dry shampoo in it before I left because I've heard that's a hack. And honestly, I don't like washing my hair every day. Water, right? Yeah, that, that's fun. of things that you would just not even ever think to have in your car. But something I've been complaining to my friends a lot about recently is how there's no like purse spot in a car because cars were like designed for men. So I found this blingy beautiful thing on Amazon and apparently you like clip it on. This is gonna be the test. So it goes like so. And this is a big bag today because my car thingy like passenger alarm always goes off. Okay, I mean that kind of works. At least it's like easier to access now. Today is exciting because I'm meeting up with a special guest, Melissa, because we are shooting some TikToks for our pop-up that's next weekend and it's crazy busy downtown and we're at the store, Arm Jewelry. They moved, they're in Dund on Dundas Street now. But we've got lots of fun pink Barbie looks we wanted to shoot and some fun TikTok ideas. So I've got to like 
find all those audios. I wish there were folders for TikTok audios. Maybe there are. Let me know if there are because that'd be super, super helpful. But do I do this shirt instead? I feel like this is more of everybody with the pink. Yeah. yeah. That's a wrap, everybody. We did one, hopefully, good, successful swoop of a TikTok and some photos and some fun stuff. So now we're gonna go get some food. It's my tummy. Just, you know, hoping. We're just Barbies oh, in the real world. I'm on my gluten free, dairy free right. journey. Yeah, right. so we gotta. We have to like put all our faith in Sarah's editing skills to uh, edit our millennial TikTok. Yeah, I know. I'm scared. I know. It's so fun. For the moment. Ten dollar wine. Ten dollar. That tastes just like. Mm. We're gonna be feeling juice. great in the morning. Oh yeah, this is a headache one on one. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, it's sugar. That's juice. Holy shit, that's sweet. That's juice. Oh, that's dangerous. Motherland. She got what? A huge wooden chessboard. Oh, wow. Whoa. This is awesome. This is sick. Yellow tag. I like how high the ceilings are. Thank you. Are you excited? I don't know. <laughs> Cheers. Did not sound like this guy. It is good. Dude, the cookies are the best. Do you have a strong opinion on the pork salad pizza? Is it like Thank you. I think it's like, great. Yeah. I think it's, I don't, I didn't like um, the Chicago deep dish we had. Oh, really? New York uh, pizza. Uh, Chicago. this up because I'm like so excited I want to get it in here especially while it's daylight